Hello and welcome to my latest tutorial. This is Miguel Barroso coming at you with again this new video to go over how to use the compositor and create a easy glowing effect all in cycles for the record. The reason why we're making this video is with the latest edition 2.67 changed drastically what was in or how you go about doing for example this effect in 2.66. So without further ado, we're going to learn how to make the particular lightsaber glow. All right, so let's get right to it. Now what you want to do is you want to go under materials and under settings. And you want to give it a pass index. I already have. Usually it's set to zero. I'm going to set it to one. And another thing that they've changed in 2.67 is the scene tab it used to be a part of this tab right here, but they excuse me the render tab, but they moved it. Now what you're going to be doing under here under passes, you're going to change this. Excuse me, click that and click material index. Now you'll have the option in the compositor to actually work solely on that material. All right. That's all you need to do for preparation. And we're going to make a quick render. And then we'll pause it and come back at you in a second. Let's give it a sampling of, let's just say, 50. Okay, so we'll see in a few. Okay, so now we have our render completed. It took, I don't know, two minutes or so. And you want to go under here and click the option for compositor. I don't need this and I don't need these two screens here so we can just lower that down. I want to check off use nodes, backdrop. All right. And we're going to move this around so we have some space to work with. Okay. So what I want to do is I want to add a ID mask and that's going to allow us to work again on the uh, that material okay and let's add a viewer shift a to bring that menu up output viewer okay oh, excuse me In case you don't know how to bring this up, actually the actual backdrop, Alt V will bring it up. We'll zoom it in. V will zoom out. I don't know who picked that, uh, but it is what it is. Okay. So let's do this. Okay. When we connect that, what's highlighted is the is all that we'll be working on, all that we'll be changing. All right. Now I want to add in a mix node and that's one thing that they've changed in 2.67 is there used to be under color and under shader mix nodes uh, looks like they've combined it now okay and this is going to go under FAC and you're going to bring in you're going to bring in image to the bottom you're going to change this color to black Okay. Okay. Easy enough. Let's just try to keep it a little neat and organized. Now I want to add a node for the actual blur effect. It's under filter, blur. Okay. Connect that. And we're going to under Gaussian, you're going to click the click fast Gaussian relative and in the actual Ultimate picture, I think I used three and three. Now we're going to add another mix node. You can just highlight it, Shift D. And the render image. What does it add? There we go. 
there you go folks that's how you create a glowing effect in blender 2.67 so now I'm just gonna align so it's easy to see and you can connect everything and let's also run this to the compositor so it comes up in the actual final render okay all right that should be pretty easy to see now all right okay so I hope this was easy for you and I hope you learned something we'll have the final blender file up on my website miguelbarrosostudios.com uh, very soon uh, there's a host of other things on the website feel free to take a look everything's free if you like something and leave a comment it'd be greatly appreciated and um, thanks again for uh, watching much appreciated and have yourself a great day keep on blending